Hey, internet. It's been a little bit, but I'm back. This year has been hard, like creatively, that is. It's been a struggle in 2022 to get out there and make photos. And I don't really know why that is, but I've really struggled to go out and pick up a camera and make photos. Now, I feel like it's partially due to like laziness, partially due to a lack of inspiration, but mainly due to just like overall lack of confidence in my ability as a photographer. And these happen. I mean, there's ebbs and flows that come along with being a creative individual. Sometimes the fire is lit and fierce and intoxicating and others, it's just not there. And no matter how many times you strike the flint, you just cannot get a flame to catch. And so after a while, you just stop. And so that's what happened. I stopped regularly digesting photographic content on all forms of social media. And I think that played a really large part in my overall lack of inspiration. And I just got caught up in the monotony of like the everyday, day to day, um, like my day job. And I lost sight of the thing that I said was so important to me, which is my photography. And so look, this video isn't meant to be uh, a sob story about my lack of motivation, but I did want to kind of convey a level of honesty here. I think there's a lot of people in this space on YouTube in particular that make going out, creating photos, creating videos, making content look so effortless and easy, especially on a regular basis. Uh, but if you're like the vast majority of us, this is a part-time thing and it's really hard to kind of find that motivation sometimes and stick with it. So if you're anything like me, my recommendation would be to just Give yourself some time when you need some time. Really give yourself a hard push when you think you need it. And at the end of the day, just keep regularly trying to pick up a camera and go out and make photos because really all it takes is one good day out in the field and it could do a ton for your psyche. And that's what happened to me. Recently, I took a trip quite a few blocks up to Randall's Island. Now, one of the things I've been doing with these videos and with my photography is trying to photograph the islands that surround New York City. And now it's partially selfish because I like a lot of space in my photography. I like wide open views with not a lot going on. And the streets of New York are hectic and condensed, especially through a viewfinder. But that said, I love the idea of building a body of work that explores these surrounding islands. Uh, they have all these really pretty horizon lines where you might have this wide open space in front of you, but in the background you have little hints of the city poking through. And it creates this really nice juxtaposition, but it also like is this nice little context clue as to where you are. And all together just creates this look that I'm really starting to dig when I'm out taking photos. And so my goal is this, is to kind of portray my take on urban landscape photography. And so growing up in a small town, but moving to a big city like New York, I feel like I owe it to these two parts of myself to create a body of work that really highlights how these two areas interact with one another. Because I think there is a lot of juxtaposition uh, and it creates this really cool dynamic in the photo where you have these beautiful open scenes, but you can kind of see in the background, there's just like in the horizon line, there's that hustle and bustle that is the city.
And so, alright guys, I just wanted to put this video together to kind of show you where I've been for the past couple months, show you some footage, show you some photos. Uh, if you liked it, like it. If you want to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.